Welcome to this episode of YCP. I'm your host, Jerron, and these are my associates. And we're going to play a game of war and talk about whatever we feel like talking about. So, sports. today we're going to talk about sports. A very, a very loyal person by the name of DeMar DeRozan was traded. Moment of silence. He was a very loyal man, and they just gave him away for someone who's much better. So our conversation was, would you trade up five years with a nice wife, you know, things are going well, you know, you guys are happy, but would you trade that for something even better, for a chance at something great, fireworks, like when you first met, like every day, but only for one year? It's, it's, I don't agree with the whole, you know, leaving someone for the one year, because it's just like what we discussed, like you can, a recreate you can make the relationship that you already have that took so long to establish and get to the point that you are there at that point to bring something new if you feel like you're maybe getting bored you need something new then why don't you make the attempt of doing that with the person that you're already with and that have seen you and supported you through your career and through a lot of things through all this time I think it's, it's kind of like a betrayal mm. almost for you to just give that up for like to stay with one person for one year. But a great year. A chance at a championship. What do you mean by that? I mean, you can ha it could be good all you want, but it might not be something fulfilling. If you don't get that championship, that feeling that you wanted going in to the marriage. Like, they, they traded up someone who was good, and like, yeah, they may, I don't know if they owe him something. That Like, that's just, I don't know how much you put into marriage. Um, what's up with the cards? Like, are we about to play a game? Oh yeah, we're playing war. <laughs> We're playing war. All right. Yeah, how do you how do you play this? Like, this is my war. first time. Really? Yeah, this is my first time. All right, so when we declare war, you never know what's going to be expected when you're battling other people. You know, they might switch up on you and trade you for someone for one year. So, all you got to do is, uh, when I say declare war, put your first card down. Okay, we're doing this now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you said. Let's do it. Declare war. Oh. Yes. Oh. Whoever has the highest card takes everyone else's card. Thank you. If you run out of cards, you lose. Not the and that's game. it? Yes. Very simple. Why not? Okay, I'll stay single. You two have the same one. Oh. Just because I personally just, I, I don't think if you really love somebody and you're going to get married with them and plan your future with them, just to like, you know, one day just, oh, I don't want this anymore. Like, why? All right. But yeah, what's your personal opinion on Yeah, what is? Let I me mean, me. I've seen them in their highs and lows, right? They've been competing for a championship for about five years and nothing was popping. They would get really high up there and then they choke. And they had a very good team. They had the ability to do it, but it just never got accomplished. So they made a decision to say, okay, we need a fresh start because we aren't going anywhere. And we've tried for year after year after year. So they switched up. So they took the weakest link out. No, they took the best link out. So why would you do that? That's Because they got the an even link. better link. And an so even better person, up. but it's just mm -hmm. that that person who was the best player would have been there for five years. He could have kept getting better. Right. But they traded but him for it's someone. It's all business. It's all money. If they're not making the money. Is it? This player gave his life to you for five years. Was going to so give his life to you, you for see, five more my years. Thing is Me personally, I got to agree with Eris. Like, Claire. I don't think that it's like right <laughs> to just like want to so switch up just because it isn't working story. when. Shake Why would you want to marry the person in the first place if you didn't think it was going to work? You got to see that through. That's a responsibility. You never know well, if it's going to work. So. Yeah, but I mean, why would you marry the person in the first place, though? But my thing is with the player, right? It's just it, it, NBA, right? Mm -hmm. It's all a business. You know, it's all a business. Just like the NFL, it's all a business. Just like FIFA, it's all a business. It's all money. Like, it doesn't matter how much sacrifice, how much uh, blood, sweat, you sacrifice. Or how hard you play. How hard you play, how much like ambition you have for this team, how much faith you have for this team. If you, if they see, if the, if the recruiters, the ones putting in the money in this business, see that this team is not making, you know, they're not, they're putting a lot of money on trainers, right, mm -hmm. to make them better to on, on, on dietitians, on everything that they can imagine, right, to make these players better. 
and it's still not working, then they have to think of other ways, just like you said. Mm. Maybe we have to we have to get a good player here, right? Mm. And switch up our best player and maybe this good player that we have on this mm. team now can, you know, uh, make things happen, mm. can change uh, the dynamics, can bring their experiences, their not so their experiences, but like their their method, their techniques into the into the game. So so the so the teams don't owe the players anything. The teams don't. Owe, what do you mean by so that? So like you know they're just players. So like the teams don't owe them anything. Like the teams hire them, so they it's in their right to get rid of them. You're literally just. A so number. what about? Yeah. Oh, no. So, I I think that's interesting because we're getting to a place in like in society and in sports where the players are starting to have more power, especially like with social media. You, you can see what your favorite player is doing all the time. Players like LeBron James are saying, I want this player and this player and this player on my team. And the, the, the business people will bring those people to his team. Right. So the players are getting more power. Right, but look at look at uh, what's his name, Ka Kaepernick, Kaepernick? Colin Kaepernick. Yes, like, look at him. He was a really good player in his team, right? But the NFL managed to kick him out because he did one thing that he felt was within his right. Mm -hmm. So it, it leads me to believe that yes, it's you're you're just a number. Like it doesn't matter. I feel like yes, I agree that the players do have a, a now. They're for people that are their fans, right? They can make an impact, just like a. Ka Colin Kaepernick. <laughs> Kaepernick. I was. I want to say Kaepernick all the time. Kaepernick had, you know, uh, he had a lot of people. That's right. <laughs> Kaepernick, right? Kaepernick is uh, a lot of their fans, right? It was a lot of uh, controversial uh, things that happened. Um, a lot of people. Mm, look, guess who got it this time? A lot of people did. The first you know, time. Uh, did speak out with all the. You guys remember the time that this all happened, that it was a big yeah. deal. And hi, even in high school and colleges, some team players were doing it. The um, kneeling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, it's, it's, it's that situation. Like, it doesn't matter. You're, you're just but a number to investors. So do you guys think it should stay separate? Should the players and the business stay separate, or should players be able to control their own business? In a perfect <laughs> world. I feel like it should stay separate because, like, what you said was true. Nowadays, the players are in too much, like, control of what goes on. Mm -hmm. But that's what the business is for. The players shouldn't really be focusing on that kind of thing. It should be meant for the business because that's what they were meant to do. They're meant to recruit the players. They're meant to, like, come up with the days to mm -hmm. um, play, come up with, like, selling strategies, things like that. It shouldn't have to be the players because that's not their responsibility. Mm. What do you think? I just feel like... If you play for the NBA, you're just technically a programmable human working for corporations that pay you to, you know, shoot a ball mm. into a basket. So what about that's the NFL? <laughs> about that's like the most simplest like way. Like, yes, that's the goal. You just shoot the ball into the basket. <laughs> hey. and it's like, I mean, I'm not going to lie. If, if I could get paid a couple of... <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey basketball right? is... In, you got to make it, though. Basketball you is a hard it. form, okay? You can throw it nah, into well, the hoop, but you got to make it. I'm not going to lie. It's because I wasn't really too much into basketball. Like, I was a soccer kind of guy. Race so. your turn. But disagree with though um okay so it's like if i relate it to like maybe like the music business or something like that right? right right people have to be more of a renaissance man in this age to like get attention if you look at everyone who's famous they all are in different fields they make movies and they make music and they're like doing like charitable donations or like doing whatever like everyone's in different fields in the music industry probably before <laughs> Yeah, I'm so give me, that give was me. so perfect. Give me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an artist. An artist's job is to make music, right? That's right. it. Mm. You don't think they should be in in control of their business? Because no, we've no, heard no. stories of artists like being, beats by you know, Dre, right? huh? For, like Beats by Dre, something like that, no, or like you I, know how Rihanna's uh, accountant or whatever was taking right. money from her, like because right, right, you don't right. know your business, you only know the art. Should right. an artist know the art, or should a player know yeah. the business I, side so no, he I, knows his value? So it's really hard to trust people when you're at such a high level. I think it also goes with like the fact that like, if I'm if I'm talking about players, like the biggest difference is that you, they used to be grateful to just be in the NBA, right? And now they're talking about like, I want to play for this team. I want to play for that team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That 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 in general, I don't know. Like, it's good that they have power, I guess. But like, should like, is that too much? 
Like, should you just, are, nah, we, are yeah. we not as grateful as we should be, yeah. like, before? Because you got to think about it on a business level. Like, it's still a job. You're playing a game, mm -hmm. but it's still a job. You can't just tell your boss, it's like, hey, yo, boss, I want this. You know, you got to work for it. You got to bust Yeah. <coughs> That's why they got to separate the business. Level. <laughs> <laughs> All that. What do you think counts as a sport? It counts as a sport. Before Honestly, we have a huge back and forth about like anything with a sense of adrenaline e and competition sport or not, which they are. Thank you. Esports e is a sport. Yes. yes, it is. Big well, fact, yo, I be getting crazy gaming? when it comes okay, to okay, gaming. Okay, 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 okay. Boy, I'll be okay. Okay. One thing, one thing about gaming. One thing about gaming. One thing. Uh, one thing. I, okay, it's okay. I can see where it will be considered a sport because you know you have conventions. You. It's you're thinking you have to be ta like that your point. Brain that you have to be muscle. tactical. You have to, yes, tactical. You have to think quick on your feet, just like you would a sport. But my point is that I don't see it necessarily physical. Nah, yeah. Besides, your I mean, hand eye <laughs> coordination. Hand eye coordination. Come on, is let's kind be of serious. Physical. Compare like I'm talking about physical. Like if you compare basketball, soccer. Like I'm talking about in that physical. You can't wise. lose weight playing video games. Thank you. Yeah, yo, wait, no, that's but a lie. That's a lie. Wait, 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 wait. Your brain is some wait, muscle wait. in your fingers. That's a lie. Yeah, that's, that's a lie. That's a lie. Hold up. Because I had a friend. I had a friend who played League of Legends for a whole summer, and I didn't see him for the whole summer. And when I saw him, he came out. I guess he didn't eat. While he was playing, he came out skin and bones. That's like addiction. Skin and bones? I'm sorry, but that's like something. <laughs> oh man. What else do you think makes a sport other than just like being mental and like being tactical? I think I think isn't sports just about being competitive in general? Like I consider yeah. like But that's very broad. If you say that I could be yeah. competitive. About like right now we're being competitive. This, and this wouldn't be a sport, you know, this Why is just not? Cause it's not like I okay. I on see ESPN. sport as like yes, this, us doing this, right? It does put a little bit of um, tacticalness mm. in it. You can do, I don't know if you or you or you are counting the cards as we're playing. Oh. If so when it's a that. skill and it's not based on chance. That's you, right? Thank you, my yes. friend. When it's a skill. Yes. What's your favorite sports team? Huh? What's your favorite sports team? I'm a Knicks fan. Really? Uh, so don't do not do that to me. <laughs> Why does you, don't do that to me. <laughs> what is you guys' favorite sport? Favorite sport? Basketball. To play? Like, number or to one. Watch. Pass you, have, you put them the same age. I'm calling it. To play or to watch? Yes, it is. To play yes, it or to do. Tennis. My, my favorite sport is long, <laughs> long distance or high speed longboarding. No, but I yeah. would say I would say tennis. I like I like oh, playing tennis. Tennis. tennis is so, like, to me, it's, like, relaxing. Like, it's like the game is happening, but to me, it's, like, happening in slow motion because the yeah, ball is, like. Yeah, because, like, the tempo, uh -huh. boom. It's, like, like, you need to be able to, like, <laughs> hit it at a right angle. You got to yeah. be, like, with enough yeah, power. Yeah. But I hate playing with people that just go for, like, the, what are they, the spikes mm. all the time. Yeah, like, they hit yeah, it so like low that you gave me no chance. It makes it, like, lackluster nah, for me. Oh, you guys I, I got oh. another. I got another question about. Oh, give me all oh, that. What? Give me all that. King okay, I got. An, I got another yet. question about competitiveness. Yeah. What's up? So Wait, we never gave our answers though. You and me. Wait. I said basketball, I said and I'm a Knicks board. fan. Oh, I like esports. It's easier for me to understand. Esports? Yeah. Like it's the video games. Is, okay. Oh, the, 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 I'm like esports. Okay, he likes a lot of sports. All right. But yeah, we're saying. So this question is about the difference between the responsibility of the individual we were talking about earlier and like the responsibility to like the, the sport itself. Because right? of great power. Yes, all, yes. all right. Great responsibility. Okay. So <laughs> one of the best centers in the league, like big dude, DeMarcus Cousins, he's one, of the, he's one of the biggest, strongest, best big men in the NBA. And he joined the team that already, already had all the all-stars. So the best center in the league joined the team that was already champions and had all the best players on the team. Kevin Durant. Kevin, no, Kevin Durant did that first. Now they got another player on another that same one? team. Yes. They're starting a bandwagon. So listen, listen. As the, and he took it for like almost no money. No, almost no money. Yes, he just, just joined them. Great like he could have had, he could have had um 150 million. He took two million. He, he wants a ring. Wait, That's why? why? That's what I'm saying. Ring. Okay, so as the best, as one of the best players in the league, is it his responsibility? So go on a different team and compete against this team, or is it good that he's taking the cheap way out, that some would call it, and joining the best team so he could get a ring and his yeah, championship? Damn. Okay, if you're joining the best team, then why, why are you giving me $2 million? Because he knows he's going to get a championship with them. So he says, I don't need a lot he's of money. He's faithful. Like, okay, so he's not faithful. It's for okay, one year. question. Question. If you have the championship, what do you get out of that? Do you get money and uh, more fame? You, get, you just get to be a champion. Like, the point of playing sports is to like be a Hall champion. Like Hall of Fame. 
Uh, you have a chance to be Hall of Fame. Yeah, okay. Hall of Famers usually. So that gives you more recognition, right? Yes. So that basically means that if he gets that, he's gonna get the two million dollars that he get, the cut that he's getting. Mm -hmm. He's gonna get all that back and more probably once he reaches that, because he's got your. But isn't that the cheap way out? Like why? Why? Why would it's he? His business. He, once no, again. but he should have. <laughs> as a as a competitor, as a person who plays sports, shouldn't right. you go well, against the best? Like why would you want to join the best team as a as one of the best? Like how can you call yourself the best if What's you're up? joining them? I think it's I Pass think it's that. business. Once again, it goes down to business. A lot. I don't know if that makes any sense. No, nah, it ma it makes sense. I just think that you like have the most cards. I think if you're the best no, or does. one of the best at your craft, you, and if this is the craft that got you to where you are, I think you should almost have a responsibility to do your best and put your best foot forward to make it competitive. But what if you have people around you, like the agent, like the the people that influenced you, right? And they're just like, you know, this is a cheap way out, right? Just do it this. Just do it this way, and mm -hmm. you're guaranteed something. You're guaranteed, you're a, guaranteed, you're guaranteed something. guaranteed a ring. And it's like you said, it's a, cheap, it's, a, it's a cheap way of doing it, but you also have to keep, like, I don't think that judging the player themselves is also fair because you're not putting in the factors of the people around them that might be uh, encouraging that, that opinion or, um, are we playing? Yeah. I, I, D. Claire. 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 Let's did it did it did it do oh. you really <laughs> Yeah, plus like if you're getting older and like you can't do certain things, like for example, going back to Demarcus Cousins, he's about to be in his thirties. The lifespan of a of an athlete is pretty short not lifespan, I'm sorry. The the career span for an athlete is pretty short. Right. Span. Career span. Career it's kinda span. Career span. Career like span. they only get to like their mid thirties usually right. and then they have to retire. They retire, yeah. Like so does they have enough money? Huh? Like Michael Phelps. And? Wow. So it's like his time might be running out, and he might not have that same confidence in himself. Jokes on you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. All right. So he's oh. like, jokes okay. on you. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So he might not have that same that same drive anymore, or feel like it's necessary. Like he just needs to get it done. He needs to get his ring. He needs to get his championship just to say he has it. Well, what would you do? I don't is know, it just, is it just the business? You're just gonna get your Wait, championship, or would you want, like, for example, if let's say you're in this position, right? Mm -hmm. Like, there's already the best team out there. Would you want to compete against the team and beat them on your own account to say that you did it, or would you just join the team and get your championship and help them build a dynasty? Definitely beat them on my own account. That's gonna give you the most recognition. There's a chance you won't. There's a big chance. But you gotta you try. Not I'm you have personally to try. Why personally. do you have to try? Because if you don't try to do anything. You're gonna live in regret and be like, Boy, I should have done this. Or you're never gonna be able to be player. like, what would have happened if I had done this? Because I mean, he's not gonna like, care. He got a championship. Like for example, what you guys mentioned before, if you don't challenge yourself. You're gonna be saying, what would have happened if I had tried this? Would I have been really good at it or not? Ooh. And the same thing is for like it's sports. Me. Whenever you compete in a sport, Wait. you have to be like, we have to try and do this. We can't just not want to play these guys because if we don't, then what's the point? Right, right, right. Want to compete, or would you just join them and get your championship? And I make would want to compete because I'm the type of person to sit all of my teammates down and just give them like a an hour speech on. Listen, we're not going, you know, get stepped on this year. Yeah, so they may have more men <laughs> yeah. than us. Boy, I, better equipment. You know how like the player's the player and then you got your trainer. Now, I'm going to be everything. I'm going to be the trainer, the referee. The, I'm going to be out there like, yo. You got to do some shadow clone jutsu. Boy, they're going to they be at all me. those places at once, man. Every day I'm gonna be like, yo, we got this. Train, 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 train. Like, oh. And then you call it the butt night. Nah, yeah, dilly, that's dilly. what you gotta do. That's probably why the team that he wants, you know, that's why they up there, because they probably do that with themselves too. Because they yeah. called the butt night? No, that's why they up there. Oh, I said butt night. Never mind. What? <laughs> I'm confused. Of course, we do have to consider, like I said, we got people oh. out here trading, trading, up their, trading up their best players for even better players. So it is a business. So if we do consider that, then we do, I guess you can kind of, say it's logical that, okay, I'm gonna get my championship because this team might not even be loyal to me if I give them a championship. <laughs> I, D, D, Claire, Claire. Oh, Ward. So close. Ah, what? Right? No! By so one close. number. One point. It's so close. One point. It's Don't you one. hate it when it happens in sports, you just lose them by the smallest oh, that's, amount? That's almost nope. painful. That's almost sports painful. Sports is. Everything. Point? Everything. Yo. <laughs> This has been the YCP. If you don't like sports, I hope you like sports now. And we'll catch you next week.